All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today we're going to be talking about VR chat and using the different safety settings inside of the game in order to make sure that things stay a comfortable and safe experience for you while you are exploring the VR landscape. And the simple answer is when you hit escape and you click on this button here at the top to go to the expanded menu, there is this shield down here at the bottom of the screen that controls the different levels of safety. Now you can use some of the presets at the top, which is normal would be the one that you start off with. And each one of these is a set of presets. You can do none, which allows everything all of the time. You can go with normal, which is like the default one that's kind of safe, but kind of also you can see a lot of things like different crazy effects that other people can spawn with their avatars in the same room. Or you can go with the maximum amount of safety where the only thing that people can display to you is their voice and everything else is a half rendered robot looking thing. So I prefer to do something more custom and you can then determine for each level of user that you can encounter what they get to display. And these are things like, can they use their voice in front of you? Can they display their avatar to you? Can they use em like icons and emojis, which is if you hit the R button, you can literally throw an emoji out into the middle of the, the area. And those are the three that I think are the safest to let random people do, because for the most part, a lot of the more risque avatars that you don't want to see in VR chat get reported relatively quickly and removed from the game. So with that in mind, um, these different levels of user up here, um, beyond those three levels of allowance, like having voice, having an avatar and using emojis, you can also determine if you want random avatars to be playing sounds, light and particle effects, crazy shaders, custom animations or animated emojis. And I say I turn a lot of these off because there's a few things that you can run into in VR chat, including um, game crashers and other things. So it's often a good idea to turn a lot of these off unless you are with your friends. So at the top here, you've got these different levels of user and depending on how long someone's been playing VR chat actively, they can get upgraded from new user to user to known user to trusted user based upon how many years they've been actively playing. And if they're a trusted user, they've been playing a lot and they've been playing like every day for a couple of hours. Uh, and then of course you have your friends. Those are people who are actually on your friends list. And I've got most of this disabled for every other type of stranger, except for my friends. They are the only people I allow to play audio, use lights and particles, use shaders and use custom animations and custom animated emoji. And this, for the most part, cuts out a lot of the trolly, loud, spammy nonsense that you can encounter a lot of the time when you're out walking around. But you can also, if you find a character that you don't like all that much, like let's say we don't like, you know, the massive bedonker on this red character here, you can always click this person and you can de-render their avatar so that they just look like a gray robot. Similarly, you can also mute their voice if you want. You can you can favorite their avatar if it's public and clone their avatar up here. Um, if you don't like this avatar at all, you can actually hide that avatar forever after after this and have it globally disappear. You can block this user, which completely de-renders them. You can't hear or see them. You can vote to kick them from the instance if you're in like a public instance that doesn't have a moderator. You can vote to kick them. You can also view their avatar author information from whoever made this uh, avatar that they're using. You can invite them to a group if you've got a group going on. Uh, you can match eye height and all sorts of stuff like that. You can also turn off avatar interaction override with force on, force off, or use current settings and all of that good stuff. So you've got a lot of options here to moderate what you see around you, especially if people are like literally in your space like this guy where I can just remove his avatar entirely because he's taking up literally half the room. So that's kind of like the gist of how you handle a lot of the trust and safety things inside of VR chat. And if you decide that somebody's really harassing you, you can get a copy or like a screenshot of their username and then you can click on them somewhere here. 
and then you could click here at the top to report this person. Do note that this requires you to fill out a lengthy form on the VR chat website. So sometimes this is more of a pain in the rear than it is honestly worth. And if you want to page around between all the people who are currently in the room with you really quickly because you're having trouble clicking on somebody, you can always click through with these arrows at the top of the screen. So anyway, that'll be it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. I've been your host, Larry. This has been a brief look at how to adjust your safety shield settings inside of VRChat. I hope you found this helpful. I'll catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.